Hi, good morning everyone. Um, it's Mrs. Shelton again, art teacher from Perry. Um, today we're going to start a new online drawing lesson. Our project for today is going to be a puppy dog. Super simple, super easy. Take a minute, grab your supplies. Again, today the only supplies you need to get started are a piece of paper, any paper you can find, and something to write with. I'm going to use the Sharpie again today, but you can use a pen, a pencil, whatever you can find, a crayon, a marker, whatever. I have a variety of things here, but um, whatever you can find to draw with. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Um, we're just going to draw the puppy's face today. You can add details later. You can add whatever you want, additional details when you're done. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Carson, my son, is going to draw with me today. And we're gonna start by binding the middle of the paper with our finger, which we do all the time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw what we call a man with no arms. So start with his head. Draw a line down the middle. It's gonna be a stick person. So now we're gonna pretend like this man with no arms is getting chased by bees. So we're gonna draw little dots right here. So we have the head, his body, the legs. But remember, don't draw the arms. He's getting chased by these bees. And in order to get away from the bees, he jumps in a pool. So you're drawing a big circle around all of that. I'm going to go ahead and draw my legs coming down a little further. Okay, now the man sees two rainbows. So draw one rainbow line here and one rainbow line here. Inside your rainbow line, you're gonna draw another tiny rainbow line. Right before break, we talked about making rainbow lines. We use them a lot in our projects. So you guys should know what this is. After the man sees the rainbows, the sun begins to set. So we do another rainbow line right there. It's kind of like the setting sun. We'll wait a second for you guys to catch up. But then after the sun started to set, it began to rain. So go on the side of his head. Make a line that comes down. And then curves back up. It doesn't have to curve all the way up. It can connect to his face like that. And now he needs two ears. So we're going to make this line come down. And come up like that. Oops, mine are kind of lopsided, but that's okay. Now, after the rainbows came out, the sun set it set, and it, it began to rain. It caused some grass to sprout. So draw these little lines on top of his head. This is to make it to look like little fur popping out of the top of his head. So now here is where you guys can add details. This is just a simple dog. You can leave it like this, or you can go ahead, you can color his eyes in the little circle. You know, Mrs. Shelton always likes to add little eyelashes on the side. You can choose to add the eyelashes or you can use choose to leave it plain. You can also color the nose in.
My marker's starting to run out a little bit. And when I co color my nose in, I like to leave like a little white spot there. Let's make it kind of look like the light is shining on his nose. But you can do whatever you want if you want to color the whole thing in. If you want to give the dog a little neck, I just make two lines coming down here. You can do however you want. And this is all I'm gonna show you how to draw today. But if you wanna add his body down here, you can. If you have a small piece of paper, you just draw his head. Um, like I said, you can add any details you want. So, good luck with your drawing. Please, if you have, um, if you have time today, have your families email me your pictures and I will post them on the school Facebook site. Good luck, you guys. See you later. Enjoy the rest of your day.